Step 1. Learn vocabulary. Accompany. To accompany other people means to join them or go with them. My brothers accompanied me to the movie. Bear. When something is bare, it is plain. It has no covering. He likes to walk around in his bare feet. Branch. A branch is the part of a tree with leaves. The monkey was hanging from a branch on the tree. Breath. A breath is the air that goes into and out of one's lungs. You can't take a breath under water. Bridge. A bridge is something that is built over a river so people can cross it. The old bridge fell into the river. Cast. To cast something means to throw it. The fisherman cast his line into the water. Dare. To dare means to be brave enough to try something. He dared to jump out of the airplane and skydive. Electronic. When something is electronic, it uses electricity to do something. I like having electronic devices such as an MP3 player. Inn. An inn is a place where travelers can rest and eat. The visitor got a room at the inn. Net. A net is a bag made of strong thread. It is used to catch animals. The boy caught butterflies in his net. Philosophy. A philosophy is a way to think about truth and life. My philosophy is live and let live. Pot. A pot is a deep round metal container used for cooking. Don't touch the pot on the stove. It's hot. Seed. A seed is the hard part of a plant or fruit that trees grow from. I planted the seed in the dirt, hoping that it would grow into a tree. Sharp When something is sharp, it has a thin edge that cuts things easily. That knife is very sharp. Be careful not to hurt yourself. Sort A sort of something is a type of it. What sort of instrument do you want to learn to play? Subtract to subtract means to take something away. We learned how to subtract numbers from each other in class. Tight. When something is tight, it is fixed or fastened firmly in place. The knots were too tight to untie. Virtual. If something is virtual, then it is very close to being true or accurate. Because he's popular, Joe is the virtual leader of the group. Weigh. To weigh something means to see how heavy it is. The little dog weighed exactly three kilograms. Whisper. To whisper means to say very quietly. We have to whisper in the library so people can focus on reading. Step 2. Listen to the story without subtitles. The Fisherman Every day, a fisherman sat on a bridge. He ate apples and spit the seeds into the water. He had a simple way to catch fish. He cut a branch off of a tree and tied a line to it. He put a sharp hook on it and made a tight knot. Then he whispered, Come here, fish. Like magic, the fish bit the hook. He put them in a big net and took them home to make big pots of fish soup from them. One day, another man walked up to him. He said, My name is George. I am staying at the inn. I bet that I am a better fisherman than you. I will accompany you today. I dare you to prove your skill. The fisherman cast his line. George had a lot of electronic tools. One machine gave him the virtual locations of fish. His rod weighed fish. At the end of the day, 
George subtracted his fish from the fisherman's. The fisherman had beaten him by forty-seven. George asked, How do you catch fish with only a branch and a bare line? I have many different sorts of tools. The fisherman told George, My philosophy is simple. I am patient, and I believe in myself. Take a breath, and try it my way. Step 3. Listen to the story with subtitles. The Fisherman Every day, a fisherman sat on a bridge. He ate apples and spit the seeds into the water. He had a simple way to catch fish. He cut a branch off of a tree and tied a line to it. He put a sharp hook on it and made a tight knot. Then he whispered, Come here, fish. Like magic, the fish bit the hook. He put them in a big net and took them home to make big pots of fish soup from them. One day, another man walked up to him. He said, My name is George. I am staying at the inn. I bet that I am a better fisherman than you. I will accompany you today. I dare you to prove your skill. The fisherman cast his line. George had a lot of electronic tools. One machine gave him the virtual locations of fish. His rod weighed fish. At the end of the day, George subtracted his fish from the fisherman's. The fisherman had beaten him by forty-seven. George asked, How do you catch fish with only a branch and a bare line? I have many different sorts of tools. The fisherman told George, My philosophy is simple. I am patient, and I believe in myself. Take a breath and try it my way. Step 4. Answer the questions. 1. What is this story about? A. Why fishermen use nets. B. How a man's philosophy was a good match for fishing. C. Why George did not like the fisherman. D. How to whisper to fish. 2. What did the fisherman do with the fish? A. He sold them to a restaurant. B. He subtracted the fish. C. He made all sorts of food. D. He made soup with them. 3. What did the fisherman do every day at the bridge? A. He would cast his line into the water. B. He would take a breath, then jump into the river. C. He would accompany George from the inn. D. He would eat a virtual pot of fish soup. 4. According to the passage, all the following are true about the fisherman except A. He used a tree branch. B. He used a bare line with a tight knot. C. He used a sharp hook. D. He used an electronic rod to weigh fish. 5. What did George dare the fisherman to do? Answer key. 1. B. How a man's philosophy was a good match for fishing. 2. D. He made soup with them. 3. A. He would cast his line into the water. 4. D. He used an electronic rod to weigh fish. 5. George dared the fisherman to prove his skill.